Thank you so much for joining me as Game Edge. We are back in subsistence with a brand new update, Alpha 50, a mammoth update, a whole bunch of things added. I'm going to go through it all with you guys. You're going to be surprised when you actually go through the entire seasonal update, and there's more than that. This is absolutely insane. Cole Games, if you guys are not aware, is a sole developer of this game. One person has built his entire survival game, which is one of my favorites of all time. So if I've actually been debating to start a solo season since we've been having problems with the multiplayer due to my daughter's hockey schedule. I'm not saying we're not going to go back to multiplayer, but if you guys want to see a solo season of this, please make sure you hit the like button, get in the comment fields. I'd like to see as many like buttons as possible so you guys can tell me whether or not you want to see us. Now, that being said, we're going to jump in and talk about this update. I can't jump into the game just yet because it's mammoth. All right, we're going to walk through the entire thing here. And then after that, we'll start with season. And if you guys want to see it, it'll be a longer video than usual. But if you guys want to see it, make sure you hit the like button, get in the comment fields as usual. You guys are absolutely awesome. All right, so this is Alpha 50. And there's a whole bunch of stuff that's been added. There is spring summer fall and winter now again you guys can understand everything that's going on with all those of course seasons which means we'll need clothing we'll go through all that as we progress here there's gonna be snowfall now seasonal trees the grass will grow flowers will bloom the trees will lose leaves and then grow them back their foliage and their canopy everything in this game is going to change up quite a bit it's going to be quite impressive. Heat and hydrations and cold and protein depletion. You're going to have to be careful now. Getting too cold will now slowly deplete your protein levels, while too hot will deplete your hydration levels. So make sure you carry fluids with you during the summer. That's going to be important. Of course, meat too, I guess, during the winter. New icons will also show that as a player starts becoming too hot. So we'll go through that too as we progress. The radiators have been added to this game. You can craft these up in a BCU, and it takes up a, quite a bit. I think, if I'm mistaken, um, I can't really tell what the heck that is. I think it's bars themselves. I think it's 10 scrap, 4 metal bars, uh, iron ingots, if I'm mistaken, and also 3 times the circuit boards to make one of those suckers. Now, the readers themselves will kick out some extra heat that more than actually the campfires and the wood-burning stoves will do. So you'll be able to get more heat from these suckers. And you will have to make sure they're enclosed in for these things to work, air conditioning, and also the readers themselves for this to work from you as mentioning. And it's also going to be a, a percentage of how far we are from the actual units themselves where it actually gets colder or hotter. That's going to be very interesting. I can't wait to see us. Readers kick out more heat, like I was mentioning. Readers draw also power from the base when active. So you have to make sure you have everything on. Uh, the heat elements will light up also on the actual thing so you know if they're on. And the same thing for the AC unit, they'll be doing exactly the same thing. The cost is identical for the AC unit and versus the actual radiators themselves. So that's very nice. Now, the temperatures uh, by such a minus 20%, at try 20 degrees inside the free air conditioning. That is very, very cool. And again, the fan blades will light up. Uh, new temperatures and base uh, insulation mechanics up to now. The heat uh, from the fires, either on or off, regardless of proximity to the source. Now the influences of the fires, also readers, like I was mentioning to you, will have a percentage on each one of these. So we'll see the status icon for each one of these as we play the game. Melting snow is now a thing. That's right, because during the winter months, the while the rivers and lakes are frozen, players will need to, to melt snow in their canteens and acquire water. Simply stand on snow and uh, fill the snow. Oh, and fill snow action is under the right click and mini bar. So we'll have to do that too. All right, here's another one now. A moose rutting season. That's right. During mid-September through mid-October, moose will enter the rutting season. During this period, they will become highly aggressive. Yes, yeah, stay away from them. And instead of uh, fleeing from players, they will stand their ground and attack and chase. So stay away. <laughs> when entering the period, the players will be notified also with additional icon that will show to the uh, months regarding the top left corner so they'll know the months you're in. Players should be cautious for moose encounters during this time. Frozen rivers and lakes throughout the depth of winter, the rivers and lakes will freeze over. This means certain resources such as kelp, clam, sandstone, fish will be unavailable. All right, and then if you guys are asking about ice fishing, uh, he is debating that, and he may be working on that. So just in case, that might be something that's coming up shortly. Don't hold me to it, 
but from what I was reading to and in the notes here, he was actually mentioning it. So yes, there might be some ice fishing coming up uh, very shortly, but it won't be in this update. I don't believe so. Again, this update might come out in the next couple of days. I have no idea exact time frame for that. Uh, also, crystals and caves and access will be restricted. Um, he's also mentioning the white wolves and bears hibernation. White wolves, no. During winter months, bears will go into hibernations and white wolves will emerge into uh, onto the landscape. White wolves are larger than the wolves and more uh, quiet and sneaky and stalking and attacks. Yikes, be careful. Uh, water and temperature. Previously, water temperatures were the same uh, as the world temperatures, apart from minus four wetness penalty. Water temperatures is now a, uh, oh, treated separately. So we have to be very careful of that. Uh, winter jackets. The winter jackets offer uh, a decent amount of, of course, well, warmth during the cold months. However, it offers very little protection and physical damage. So this is something to worry about. It looks like it's padded cloth, uh, four padded cloth, uh, six cotton, eight uh, cloth itself, and two uh, sinew. So yeah, this can be a lot of work. So yeah, so it cannot be worn with a combat vest or diving gear. Uh, sweaters provide a better warmth. So the brand new clothing, of course, uh, they are not the existing shirts and hunter jackets, well, probably for the fall months, but uh, offers less hit damage protection. So be careful of that. That's going to take up 10 cotton, five uh, cloth, and one rope. So be careful one city. And that's going to be uh, one city rope. That's what I was talking about, the rope on top too for the jacket. Weapons and usage damage maintenance. We have to be careful. Firearms and bows now take damage. Once depleted uh, of health, they will become unusable and require maintenance. So be careful of that. Broken weapons will now show a red X on the item itself. So we'll see that right inside our, our actual bar. It's, we'll see a little red X right across it, which shows a repair uh, recipes. And however, once you hover over it. So once we hover over it, let's say the Magnum he's showing a picture of, it needed some wood and some scrap to repair. So you right click and of course repair it with if you have the right stuff on in your inventory, of course. Doesn't seem that much though. I don't get the wood part of it. Maybe it's the handle. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. I don't know. There's wood and, of course, uh, that. That could change in the future. Upgrade weapon uh, weapon repair. Weapons and upgrades are more expensive to maintain. Increasing costs uh, is only applied for increasing damage upgrades. Clothing damage repairs. Clothing now also take damage and will need to be repaired. So once the clothing actually reaches zero, you'll hear a ripping sound. So we'll know very well we have to fix up our stuff. There's, I'm just looking at clothes here. Quite a bit of stuff. Hunters and seasonal clothing. Hunters, including rogues, would all dress accordingly to the four for the season. That's wicked. During these months, they wear uh, camoed variant and winter jackets. Uh, this will be substitute the combat armor. So generally, they'll be less protected from gunfire. So that'll make it a little bit easier for us. During the fall and spring, you will see them wearing sweaters and t-shirts. So that will make it a little bit easier for us to take them down, I guess. They'll be wearing less armor. Uh, I've updated, he's updated himself to status icons. We'll also did now display text in the back shadow, so easier to see over the background. So status icons will be easier. It also hell, heat packs. Heat packs are providing now, we can create ourselves our own heat packs. A short period of warm, so it's like those hot shots, I guess. And temperatures currently set to 90 seconds, while active and a heat icon will show. So that's pretty good, usually it lasts longer than that. Hopefully in the future that will change. You also change up the way the uh, wolves and bears fur update, so they'll be looking a little better. Uh, hopefully, you got, we'll see that up close and personal, not too close. All right, so he's also fixed the fishing line uh, from what I was seeing. We'll have to check that out afterwards. Also, the drop-down menu has now been fixed and aligned. Reduce loot during winter, so prepare yourself. Crates, drops, hunters, kits, and uh, have slightly less loot during the winter months, which is kind of odd. I don't know why that is, but that's okay. You can now disable lightning if you want to inside the game menu. He's also uh, fixed up a whole bunch of little things that have been seem to be bothering uh, him and others, I guess. River water transition is nice and smooth. Uh, drop kits that we actually dropped itself, we can now save and leave and come back, and they'll be there still. Reduced also loot during winter, uh, so it looks like we'll be getting less loot during winter time. Prepare yourselves. That is going to be pretty rough. River uh, water transition. We just talked about that. Uh, new language Estonia been added. And other notable changes. Increasing distance at uh, which loot despawns near player. 
and also added uh, mechanics, subtle mechanics, reflections, and a base armor plating. Updated almost all foliage, grass, bush, and everything else. He's done a lot of work. He's done a lot of work. So we're going to go through this. We're going to have to jump into the game now. Uh, I'm really impressed. Way to go, Cole Games. I think this is one hell of a start. I'm looking through all the notes. It is a mammoth amount. The only way for us to really enjoy this is by jumping in and starting a new season. So let's do that. I'll catch you guys inside. All right, so we just arrived in day one. This is a little higher, and we're at four degrees Celsius on the top left. Great thing is when you first start, you can actually select the month you want to start in. So that is your choice. Really, really nice. I like that idea, uh, but I stuck with April, all right? April is the month he seems to put down. I'm going to stick with that since he told me about 12 hours in game rotates entire year. So, yeah, get yourself going, ladies and gents. Get yourself going on this one, and we're going to try and find Luke. Does this mean the color is completely different? It looks stunning. Stunning. All right, I put a new areas for this and i don't remember what i put them at but we're going to have to figure this out as we go through i think i put the g and h on there and that is good to go uh we're going to check out this too oh everybody always asks me you can do controls here you can select if you want to all the way through here and also your actions and my tool belts why i change so t and g uh, is my seven and n eight and you can actually just do seven here we're going to stick with this and eight there we go so select those and you can uh, save it up there you go very nice so controls are there select them whatever you feel like that is your choice i always seem to switch up the e uh for picking up things that is the only thing it's from yeah just getting used to it in games and stuff we just easy like the easier button for me you know what i'm saying yeah but yeah you can select those and change them up i don't want to change up and right now with a brand new game too much it's a lot harder to see these crates uh with these coloring is stunning don't get wrong it's beautiful uh but um i'm feeling i'm feeling the pressure i'm feeling the pressure right now of starting a fresh new game is that a crate over there or just happy to see me or flowers or flowers flowers yep yeah. okay all right we're gonna head down to the little pond down here we have to be careful again the bears are out and everything else we won't see the wolves till we hit winter uh, it's just kind of nice. I'm happy the wolves are uh, not coming out until then. The white wolves. I guess they're uh, doing something else. They migrate their asses over here. We can go in here and get some kelp and stuff. I'm going to check out the temperature too in here. 8 Celsius inside of here. I'm not sure whether it's outside or not. But we're going to see if we can find the kelp. Yep, right here. Nice. And there's some clams right there. Might as well use our axe. Don't really think we need him right now, but at this point, why not? Okay, okay. Might stay down a little longer than I expected. <sighs> Replant your hair. We're going to get the kelp. The kelp's going to help us out a tiny bit. We can also start off with an axe. We got ourselves a pistola. A very nice way to start, of course. Very lucky. We uh, we can do that. And, uh, yeah, let's get ourselves back up. And get some more air. Before it goes too bad. I think there's only two kelp. I don't see the rest. There's another one. I think there's a bear around that corner. That's the only thing I'm trying to be careful with. I'm not sure if they can see me in their water still. A little blur in the water, but it's all good. Uh, this is something level three right there. Wolf! Okay, that's good enough for today. Get out of the water. Oh, nice and wet. Hard to get out. We do have, of course, the... Oh, God. We do have the hunters on. And uh, full-fledged, we're going to be running through this and grabbing whatever we possibly can. We're going to hit up a tree next. The colors are absolutely stunning, by the way, in this game. Uh, he just keeps on making it better and better. I don't know how. We start off with water, too, and you have your pistol, if you want to. And your axe, and that is your choice. A little pistola. Fill it back up. Boom. There you go. Replenish it. It has seven bullets in it. All right, let's pick up all these fine bits and pieces. We're going to need as much wood as we possibly can. We have a couple here. We'll try and find some grubs in that. We'll, we'll most likely stay near a lake, or at least the water itself. I'm, I'm thinking that's where I want to stay. There's a new area on the other side, too, which we've uh, pretty much well, we did in multiplayer quite a bit of. It is a great area. I think I'm going to go back to my beachfront here and try and build up over there a bit. We have two rock faces and stuff. A great place to defend. And I'm feeling kind of more confident to be in there right now. Uh, especially with all the new stuff that's going to happen. I kind of feel like I could be behind eight ball on this. And I feel a pressure because now I know the seasons are coming through. And now it's weary about moose losing their shite. 
in running season that's gonna be that's gonna be insane that's gonna be absolutely insane we got lots of of course getting wood and getting yourself going cordage so you can craft up some rope and stuff uh we're gonna need to work on that and hopefully we'll find a ton of it i see one over there on the right hand side if you're first time you're playing this game you can turn off hunters and you can turn them off to make your life a little easier and get to learn the game because the hunters are pretty hardcore on their own uh, this game has a hardcore mode and normal mode i would recommend you start off easy if it's the first time playing it honestly so you don't get frustrated by it those are med plants we're gonna pick those up we'll pick this up and we'll start making some rope uh these suckers as fast as we possibly can now you have a whole bunch of stuff here if you guys are wondering you press tab button and to open this up and you have a whole bunch of different things you can craft here right so we're gonna want to craft up a whole bunch of these there we go we got an apple ready we're gonna have to make a, a bow and stuff very shortly and uh didn't find nails today now i have a couple arrows though right i have a couple arrows so why not look at that that's a pretty good way to start i didn't did we start off with the arrows before or did I just find us i found us yeah i found us okay so we're gonna craft up a couple of sticks how many do we need i didn't check completely there five of them all right let's do five sticks one two three four or five all right let's keep the bare minimums of what we actually need and this is a great little area here to kind of live in i'm gonna be honest with you i really did enjoy it and i'm thinking of going back home here this is where we probably built there is a lot of animals and stuff not always great a lot of wolves and everywhere there's some right there there's one there one there uh but this location around the corner too there's a big mammoth tree we're just going to search around for loot as much as we possibly can to start off with and hopefully a few chickens we're going to eat today and then craft up and find some nails to a couple more crates with some nails any kind of nails amounts would be nice Okay, so there we go. I think that's finished crafting. That's good. We're going to need to get more rope. So we're going to find some more of that. We only have three. We need six right here on the right hand side. We will find more. If it kills us, we will find more. I hope we can find more. The day, well, there's no time in this game. So you pretty much have to prepare yourself for the sun to rise from that area and drop there. So prepare yourself. Now, the grubs here are great for making lure. You can use them for fishing. You can eat them if you want to. They will make you thirsty if I'm not mistaken. So be careful of that, too. Beautiful. Do we start off with matches? We have two matches. Wonderful. Uh, that being said, what else we have here? We have to craft up a whole bunch of stuff here across. I'm trying to think what else I should be starting to work on. Maybe a campfire and having that kind of craft up in my get them back and then I can make myself a couple more sticks there we go have that crafting while we're going the best part of this game is really getting yourself crafting as fast as you possibly can get rolling I saw some more cordage here and then the crates on the right hand side so I'm gonna grab that and grab that so we can make more rope and hopefully we get lucky enough and find some more of that in there coltage and some bullets not bad good way to start the day we have some bullets. We're fully loaded and ready to go. All right, some more feathers and stuff not hurting us. That's for sure. Uh, there's are actually, here's your proteins you can have over it. Proteins, fruits and vegetables. This is your hydration. And of course, your hunger, your stamina, and your health. So just be, you know, be careful. Keep, keep in mind. Uh, you can also hover over these and press E. I keep on forgetting about that, but you can press E and eat and drink from there. Um, okay, more medicinal. Grab those. I don't have a pickaxe or anything, so if there's any kind of iron lot, really not important this early on. It's going to be, well, extremely important in the future. But right now, I'm not feeling the important level to be there. This game is so much fun and so deadly. But without nails, I'm dead meat. So I'm grabbing a lot of trees and stuff. Not to worry about weight, it's only how much room you have in your inventory. All right, talking about that, let's make some more of you. Two more of those. And again, I needed, what, again, six of these? Yeah. So we're getting closer, we're getting closer. We'd love to find a field full of these little suckers. And more loot crates would be even better. Not too plentiful in loot crates so far, just a couple, and have not been great. I mean, they gave me some feathers and stuff, don't get me wrong. Nice way to start this wolf on my right. But this is not enough to keep me going here for what I need to get done. 
Especially the cordage. Oh my god, it's, it's brutal right now. All right, that's actually one of the irons and stuff. You can actually hit this up. You can hit it with your axe too. It's going to take longer. And uh, again, your uh, your axe will go down if I'm mistaken. Okay. I want to see up close and personal the new fur, but not right now. We will have time to do that as we progress through this game. It's it could be crazy. It's going to be crazy, crazy, crazy fun. That's what's going to be. All right. There's usually crates on the left hand side. Is that a lock crate there? Yeah, it's a lock crate. Just to jab me in. Now you need a lock pick. Once you make a BCU, you should get still a well, a your own lock pick, a one of them, and then the rest of them you will have to craft yourself in the BCU itself, which is a base command unit. If you guys are wondering, what that is once you place that down, it does set off the hunters to start spawning within the next three days. So prepare yourself. You have to be ready before you put that down. It also gives you a beacon for if in case you die where your base is. So extremely helpful. My God, they're really not being cool with the uh, with the loot here. All right, there's another one down here, and again, you can crouch here if you want to. Let's see. Oh, good. Shit, I was getting worried. I was getting worried. Right, these are builder crates. Usually, you'll find that in there. There we go, a couple more nails and some actual planks. Phenomenal, we can craft those up also. Oh, beautiful. All right, now they're being fair. Just a bad location. Game, game giveth. There's a deer right there. Can't really take him down now. We will. We will take them down. All right, I went pretty far out where I want to go, but got desperate for actual cordage. And I know there's some right around here. I need those fibers to make that rope there is some wonderful we get that bow that means I can get the more chickens more chickens more feathers and food right so yeah that's what we need craft put the glow stick back here the gun over here I'm gonna make myself a bow right here uh, do I have not enough I still need one more God. I thought it made... Oh, there we go. Now it's done. Oh, man. I'm running low on everything. Brutal way to start. I love it. Ultimate survival. All right. Really don't want to mess with that. I don't have the energy for that right now to be close to a bear and mess around with it. I'm going to grab whatever I can out of here and start making my way around. Hopefully, we'll be lucky enough to find... A couple more crates up on the left-hand side here on the right. Usually they pop up pretty good. There's one building crate there. Which we need nails to build. And there's another one there on the top. Perfect. Exactly. It's a pretty far run. And it's currently almost noon. So we got to make our way through this. Again, pick up whatever you possibly can of resources. If you need to take a break, use your axe. Take your time. Chillax with it. If we find chickens right now, we're going to use our bow. We can make a couple more arrows, too. Right through here. Uh, where is it? There you go. Arrows and one, two, three, two. All right. We're going to make two, and we're going to make a few more sticks. And once those sticks are over with, we'll have a couple more arrows for us to utilize. Now, I was hoping in the future we'll be able to see the arrows themselves kind of hit the animals. And then be able to pull it back out or reuse it. Maybe fix them, I don't know, a low cost or just have them done. I don't know. But it would be nice to be able to do it. Yeah, that's a rabbit this time. He is going to be cloth and... Oops. Here, I'm going to hit the crate. Oh, there's a crate on there too. Wicked. Good way to start. Good way to start. All right, there's some scrap. Won't say no. It looks like it's even more important than usual. This enamel crate. We'll see with the sides here. I think there's like a symbol on it. Yeah. You should carry like a variance of stuff anyways, like nails, there you go. Different kind of things inside. What? I need food badly. Gotcha. Alright, he's still alive. Um, yeah, you, you can butcher him right now, right click, and you can kill him off. And then after that, you can butcher him if you want to. You can hold off if you want to until future. That is your choice. We're going to put there as ammo so we know where things are. 
There we go. Nicely. Uh, we are kind of uh, thirsty. Not a whole lot, but it's somewhat. And we're going to have to look at getting more wood and more planks and stuff. So for us to build up our first night stand. We're going to do a couple of these. We're going to chop up some more trees as we go. And I'm also going to make myself a couple more arrows right here. Finish up and clear up that space. We're going to need this food, so grab it if you can. Chickens are going to be great because I can get more feathers. So this will be my last bunny rabbit. I hate the squeaking noise. It gets me every time. But it's part of the game. Hate to love it. Love to hate it. I want the crate right around that corner. Okay, I don't want that wolf too. Uh, I grew it, so we're going to watch out. I want to go around him, but I don't know if I can be able to reach that crate because of he, where his location is. I'm just trying to avoid any kind of problems. If you guys understand what I'm saying, just avoid the problems. I keep on crafting, if you guys can. The queue's up to here, really. It's pretty far. We should be looking at going out about. I didn't get any bars or anything, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. I didn't get anything. There's some protein here I can eat with this. So, yeah, let's eat these. Gives you a little bit. It tells you right there, hovering too, the, in blue, the right hand side, you can see it. If you hover over it, it gives you how much veggies and hunger and hydration. It doesn't give you any proteins, but it does give you a little bit of veggies. Uh, these little things here will give you that, but will make you thirsty. So, hydration minus one. A little bit of protein. Getting a little desperate. And we'll hold off a tiny bit for the water. I really want to go back for the other one, but I'm. I'm really need this cordage desperate start desperate measures we'll see if there's any more crates up here if there isn't I will be uh, taking a little bit of a chance going out there and picking up that crate on that side we'll just jump up here and get a good look of what we have to deal with there's a crate right next to that wolf but he's pretty far away from it is there a crate up here too I think I saw one I was hopping off no it's just a little bush those bushes I swear to god little ferns and the animals will migrate around the uh, map. So if, oh, that's some berries, berries, berries. They will migrate around the map. So if you're wondering, that is a thing. Uh, okay, I don't like how close I got there. He's now on my trail. Okay, screw it. All right, we should start heading back towards that direction. We need to build up. Uh, we still have our fire made too. We've made our little fire area here. Where is it? I thought we made a pit, didn't we? Oh, it's my, that's a strange place for it to drop. I guess it could go in a tool. That's true. I forgot it drops in there. Hey, right, we're going to try and go around him and not aggro him. Again, early on, you can do it afterwards. Another problem. problems. We do have a pistol. We can take him down. It will give you some seriously good amount of meats. The problem is uh, you didn't, you'll be looking around for ammo like crazy. And day one, I can pretty much just say small game before them. Uh, possibly five if you can. Was that crate? Did it despawn or just me? I think maybe it might have despawned. Like that one over there too. They do change up and they change up during the day. So prepare yourself. Sometimes you'll see a crate and sometimes you won't. And maybe I just overlooked it and ran past it. It's possible. It's very, very possible. <laughs> okay. Let's go through this area here we haven't gone through. And we're going to head back to where we were, we were heading to. Where we were and heading back. This is a great location too. The red forest is beautiful, dangerous as hell. Can't see over these little bits and pieces here. Now my stamina is down. You see there in the bottom right, a little lightning. Uh, yeah, we're, that's not good. <laughs> we need to rest. Best way to do it is sit here and hit up. Make sure you're safe from animals. If you crouch, they usually don't sense you as well. Okay, that guy. Definitely a bad time to be chased by a bear. Okay, really bad time. Got him running. Oh, yeah, baby. You can chase down chickens, by the way, without arrows, if you're wondering. Okay, he's really on my ass, eh? Holy crap. That's really near a wolf. If I can take him down, I'm taking it and running. Shit, that arrow broke. That's a costly, costly mess. And he's right in the friggin' wolf's face now. All right, well, that chicken's uh, his. Now, if you're wondering if animals do chase, they do chase each other. Uh, just not the chicken. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. I always thought they would chase the chickens. And maybe in the future, that would be something. 
and the rabbits. But yeah, the uh, animals will chase like deer and that to the angry road, and you'll see it happen. It is always awesome to watch. There's so much time. It'll attack the hunters too. It makes you feel better. All right, we're going to stop here for a second. This is actually a really good place to build right next to this lake. We did it last time. Now, the hunters will build around and come and fish here. And that means they'll come walking around you. So anytime you have, like, water source near you, you'll actually will see them go for the fishing. Uh, which they'll do anyways. But they'll, they'll leave their base and go and fish and get some food. So, except for winter, I guess, now. Okay, let's wait for that stamina to be in green. Because we're just hurting right now. We're hurting on proteins. We need to get our feet down on the ground somewhere settled. Somewhere with at least a... Uh, we don't have to worry about that. Well, it can't get cold. It's still spring. Spring's freezing sometimes. Uh, but yes, it all depends. I guess. We'll see how it works. We'll, we'll try and settle down and make sure it happens. There is some uh, stuff in here. Which I'm thinking about going dive down with some kelp. Again, it could be helpful for us to survive. I didn't see the animals around. I don't see a kelp here. There's one. What the hell? Got jammed on. Two. Up, up, and away. Let's get some air. Air is more important. Let's not do that mistake twice here. All right, that's pretty good. Three. Give us something. It's not fantastic, all right? But it, it will keep you alive for a little bit. Grubs and stuff like that. I mean, as long as you can boil water, you're fine. Okay, up you go. Just like if you're coming out of the water wet, it's hard to get out. That is part of the mechanic. I believe that's what the cold game has wanted from day one, for it to be more difficult to get out of the water. The animals will come after you in there, so be careful. That's why I double-checked before I head out to do anything. Just going to make sure my bar is nice and full. So if I have to run it, which I like to run a lot in this game. Some people like to walk, but if you want to watch a whole me doing this, is pretty lengthy, and I've always run. I just always enjoy it more. Okay, grab this, grab that. We'll open this up. We'll make some more rope cordage. Beautiful. Um, proteins are still low, but we can make us eat a couple of those berries up. Those will help us out right here, the fruit and vegetables. We'll have some protein very shortly. Once we get to a campfire, we'll be able to start cooking that baby up. Again, I would like to get at least two more animals. What do we have? One, two. Right now we have one. Two, three, right? Three. This one guy will give me feathers, too. You can keep them alive, too, if you want to. If they're still alive like that, you can put them back and mend it in animal housing. That is your choice. Now you have to feed them and take care of them. And that will cost you. So that is a much later part of the game. You don't want to be doing that early on, trust me. You'll, you'll have a big mistake. A big mistake. Yeah, the sun's starting to set over there. We really need to make our way over there now. You're probably saying, how do I know where I'm at? I haven't <laughs> played this game for a long period of time. You start seeing some parts that you know. Now, have I ever got lost? Yes, I have gotten lost in this game. And it's happened. But I always find my way with certain places. Oh, avoid the wolf. Let's avoid him. And cherish him. And oh, crap. I'm, I'm tanking so badly. My gun is limited. Oh, look at it. It's damaged already. On the bottom, you can see it there. Look right here. The bar. That's awesome. Okay, so I'll have to repair those things. Right click. Repair. It's going to take some planks and some... I had to do it to test it out. M9 pistol repaired. Wicked. Alright, it's a good way of training yourself too. You get used to it. We'll grab a tiny bit more. We are back to where we want to be. Not the primo of all primo locations, don't get me wrong, it's pretty hard to live here. But it's one of the best locations I've, I have, I love. There's Stiff Little Lake, which is right on top. I love that place too. If you don't understand what it is, well, go and check out past seasons to understand why it's called Stiff Little Lake. I made a design, and it turned out completely off. Yep. Go for the grub dub dubs again. I didn't get everything I really wanted for today. I was hoping a tiny bit more small game. But we can't uh, we can't say no to it. You never know, right? I mean, this is the best we can... Oop, I keep on hitting by because I'm looking left and right. 
at that wolf over there, and I think there's a crate right next to him. That's a bear? That's a freaking black bear, yeah. Let's see if you can sneak up to him. Just grab this. Awesome. Got some 44. We have some shotgun, SVT ammo. And when we get to those guns, we will have at least a stockpile of that stuff. Okay, let's make some crates here. Uh, not crates, sorry. We need planks. And I'm also going to need a foundation made. So this is going to take up five wood planks. And of course, you got 12 here of nails. It's very expensive. And two cordage. So prepare yourself. Like I was mentioning, the cordage is important. You can also select any sub menus. So prepare if you want to figure out the sub menus. They are there. Don't need much but one platform, one wall, really. To start off with day one. I mean, obviously, now I'm starting to wonder the roof and everything else because the fire won't hold as much heat. I want to say bloody close to it. Okay, I'm just going to double check the top here. There's some more grubs in there. That's extra food. Again, not many chickens and rabbits out and about. Oh, just as I said that. I'll be back, Grub Tree. I'll be back. Cordage. Don't you dare go and clip through that. Now you're probably saying to yourself, why is there a fence? It's uh, to cut off for now the map. And it, as it expands, I guess you'll have to bring it out more. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. Hit quota. My quota's hit. I mean, if I could get more too, I'd love to. It's going to get bloody dark. I'm going to tell you right now. Bloody dark and bloody cold. Look on the left hand side. With elevation makes a difference. Where are you going to build? If you're going to build in the mountains, prepare yourself. Especially when you first start. I don't recommend it. It's really hard to live. You're starting off and you have nothing on you except for a pair of pants. Now, if you're wondering where your clothes are, your clothes are here. And you can change up and buy, and of course, craft up more clothes with this right over here. Whole bunch of good stuff. We have, uh, of course, the winter jackets and stuff, like I was mentioning. All the stuff we have to do. We have to get sinew to make that rope. So, the sinew from the key cats. Definitely a good place to get it. Get them some crates. And you can also get them off other animals. So, we're going to have to do our best to get everything we can. All right, we're going to get our grub tree. I think we're going to go and plant down our stuff we need to plant down. Here you go. That's going to go here. And we're going to be doing... Okay, we got a fire. That's going to go down there. Okay, and what else we need here? We need to make ourselves a few more planks. Where are the planks? Planks, planks, planks. Right here. Okay, another five. And then I think we can make ourselves a wall, right? Or do we? are we missing it? Wall, and I need a storage crate, which I need more nails. Okay. Storage crate. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the storage crate more than anything else. The wall is just uh, it is what it is. Again, lack of nails, but I had to choose to make arrows. So choices uh, made will cost you some regret sometimes, absolutely. But uh, I do have four arrows left, and that's food, right? Unless I missed, and it's nothing. But we do have more arrows coming in as soon as we find more nails, and you can also craft them later on. All these things are you see here craftable. You just gotta have the right stations and stuff going. Oh man, he's right where I want to go. All right, well I'm gonna change a little bit of the location there. Let's run it before it gets too cold, dude. I gotta start a fire. And there's a bear right there too, right? Oh, that's a deer. There was a black bear on the left hand side. Now you can go run after him and drag him out. If you want to, the animal, but again, prepare yourself. You've got to be in good shape for that. Your stamina's got to hold. It can be a lengthy run. Lengthy. So you want to try to avoid the wolves and the bears as much as possible, especially early game. When you're low on food, up. look at this. It's beautiful. Don't adjust your screen. It's just stunning. Oh, some more cordage here. And some more blueberries, which we can use. It's going to help us out for rope. Is that a crate over there? I'm just happy to see me. Let me just get this glow stick. It doesn't going to help very much. I thought I saw a crate up there. No. Wow. It's not a crate. But we're going to build. All right, we're going to place this down. It's bloody dark for me. Is it bloody dark? Well, that just appeared nowhere. Or I missed it. Is that nails? Oh, my God. It's wonderful. 
Okay, let's place this down here. Anything we place down can be removed and replaced as we progress, so no worries. Uh, make a little high. Awesome. And we're going to place down uh, a fire in front. And we could put them on top of the wood if we want to. I think I'm going to put it right here. Try and keep us somewhere where this cannot be moved. No mistake, all right? So, yeah. Prepare yourself. We'll throw in the wood and some matches. Ignition. And we should be good to go. So let's ignite this. Wonderful. All right, let's see if we change this up. Not yet. Soon we will burn ourselves there, I guarantee you. Okay. Uh, let's just crouch down to make sure if any animals are around, they won't really bother with me. And what we're going to do is we're going to crouch and uh, create ourselves a little bit of food. I'll put you up. And see, we got feathers of that guy. We got cloth with rabbits and feathers with that. Makes sense, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, so put in the food. You can also just just place it right in here. There you go. Nice. So we're going to have this cooking up. You have three slots in this. And it's going to be much amount of work. We're going to bring up our fruit and vegetables. And they're probably saying to yourself, why don't you sleep? Uh, we don't have a sleep mechanism in this game. So if you're wondering, that does not exist. Oh, I don't like doing that. It's too close to the one I want to keep. The chest can be moved too. So I, I'll just place it here in the front temporarily. Okay. And this way we can place away and put away stuff we're not using currently. Like this stuff. And seeds. Uh, boards and stuff. This we can place in there for now. Storage wise. We can, of course we'll get more as we progress. Also going to drink a tiny bit. We need to get some water. So standing on top of water like this. And look at April. It shows up. Uh, and uh, pressing E will give it to you. You can also right click and fill if you want to. That's just your choice. So once this is done, shift click this in, shift click, shift click that back in there, and there we go. Excellent. All right, so we're going to eat this baby up. You can right click it. Just wait for it to progress. Protein, press it again. And you can see my protein bars is going up nicely. Should be enough to keep us alive and kicking till tomorrow morning. <laughs> You're going to have to cook some more, that's for sure. Again, the water itself will boil in here, inside the canteen. And you can create more canteens if you want to. You can create a little bit more if you have enough stuff. That is your choice for shows. And while we're waiting here, we'll make some more cordage. Uh, so we can make ourselves another thing. I could make a wall if we want to. Again, I can also make arrows. I'm debating to doing a little bit of an arrow shot here. Getting some more arrows going. Make ourselves nice and happy for tomorrow. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. We're going to get some serious arrows. All right, let's shift click this baby out. We'll grab the water. All right. I don't want to use a quarry just yet for another canteen. We will make more. Don't worry. More is coming. All right. And eat one more. I have one more piece of food. And like I said, five is your primo number. I'm going to hold off till tomorrow morning. I'll have that snack as we go through it. Again, if you want to add more firewood, it won't overtake. So you can drop it in there. And you can go out and about and try and chop down some... Wow, it is super foggy out today. I can barely see in front of me. I even see that thing. Is that a rabbit? I can just see his marker. No, he's gone. Alright, I'm gonna go chop down trees. Yeah, I know it's stay warm, but I'm just gonna get a little more wood, right, buddy? Now, if you stay out too long, you will start getting punishment for it. As you see, it's flashing. It's warning you. So, you gotta make sure you have enough firewood for the night. This isn't the best location ever. But we sure did a lot of work, though. In one little bit of a day. We did an awesome job. In about 30 minutes, we got everything pretty much completed, ready to go. So that's fantastic. You can leave that in here if you want to. As your choice. It will not boil itself away. No problems with that. And we can craft up other things. Now, the wood itself, I'm going to hold off a tiny bit. We can check out the clothing. And we can get cloth. Uh, enough cloth that soon we can make ourselves a shirt. Now, I'm thinking that since summer is coming around, since April... We, uh, we should expect ourselves a tiny bit to go through some extra clothing and stuff. I don't see shorts or anything, but I guess we can go on and do that. Each one of these have their own kind of effect to it. So you prepare yourself for that too. Uh, lightweight and a lot. These all have kind of like boots and you can create. And anyways, it gives you armor like this one here. A little helmet and combat vest. There's a lot to do. And also health kits and stuff and then heat pack, which would be really cool. We'll get those things later on. We'll have to start fishing and other things to get done. 
There's so much work to be done. But it'll be very cool. So I'm going to spend some time kind of putting stuff away. And then for next episode, we'll be out and about taking care of stuff. It'll be very, very cool. So thank you for being here. I do appreciate it. Again, if you're enjoying us, please take the time. Hit the like button if you're brand new. I'd love it if you subscribe. And it's always great to see you guys here. Thank you for being here. This is Game Edge. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side.